guys, this is the Magne doing this. Like, what is she gonna sound like in in two years? Like. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've checked out one of these erroring uh, live vocal videos for Secret Number before, if you have not seen it, but uh, this time they're doing Got That Boom Live. The interview looks actually kind of awesome and a lot of it seems to be in English from just skimming through it. I couldn't find the video that just clipped out the Got That Boom performance. It seems that they're blocking that and making it private, at least any of the high quality ones. So hopefully this doesn't get blocked, but I did find the timestamp in the original interview, which is like 40 something minutes long. So we can check out the song here. But again, if any of you are interested, I can react to the full interview of 40 minutes, but I do not know if I really Really have any secret number fans on my patreon so that is really up to you guys I don't know if any of you are on my patreon but that is one thing that we can check out if you so do desire but it is something that for sure will get blocked if I upload it to YouTube but for today let's just check out the got that boom performance on Errorang radio turn it up, turn it up. um also I was, I was skimming through to find this part uh, Sudam's outfit is interesting. Uh, I think it's really funny, but the placement of both the egg and the avocado clearly are intentional. That was not by mistake. Oh, yeah, always looks so excited. I do wish they didn't have a backing vocal track, though. They definitely have a backing vocal track, but, uh, uh, you know, gladly you could still hear their voice very clearly. Dita sounded fantastic. All right. Main vocal coming through. Leah is so cute, the way she's just bobbing back and forth. But one thing, um, because I didn't check out a, like a line distribution or a lyric video or anything, maybe I missed it in my original reaction of the MV for this song, but I didn't realize just how many singing parts they gave Dita. Uh, I, I mean, clearly you listen to her, she has a fantastic voice, but man, she can do it all, huh? Main dancer and a great vocalist. <laughs> That part is so catchy. It's never not going to be extremely catchy. Mm, I like the stank that Sudan put on the end there. Mm. Oh! That sounded great. That was between Ginny and Leah? Mm. <sighs> Just realizing with this song how fantastic Sudam sounds. I love her voice. Lee is such a ray of sunshine, I swear. I love how Jimmy the entire song is just grooving. Oh, she sounds so good. I love her flow. I love her tone when she raps. Oh. Woo. 
power vocals. Guys, this is the Magne doing this. Like, what is she going to sound like in, in two years? Like, I, I can't like not smile every time I look in the background and I see Leah's face. <laughs> She's so cute. That was great. That was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. Oh, the album cover is also really cool. I eventually have to get that. Unfortunately, like, because of shipping costs and just how expensive things are, I, I definitely don't buy, like, albums piecemeal. If I'm buying albums in an order, like, I'm buying, like, $150 worth of albums because that's just more cost efficient than paying $30, $40 shipping on a $12 album. It just... So I will get that eventually, but it might be a month or two down the road. I really, really enjoyed that. They uh, did a great job. Um, Error Ring Radio, again, great at highlighting these girls. Eventually, I want to check out this full um, interview, but if you guys want to see that on my Patreon, please let me know down in the description. What did you guys think of this um, performance? Also, what do you think of the song now that you've had time to sit with it? It's been about, what, a week and a half, two weeks? since the song dropped so how do you feel about it now after having some more time with it i really enjoy it i think it was kind of exactly what i wanted from a comeback um i like that it is a bit more upbeat and bouncy in the chorus and doesn't go like too girl crushy because i feel like they're still maybe a little a little too youthful for that but i think they definitely have the ability to go there eventually um also after time i've said it before Hootis, I think is all right. I think it's okay. I don't really love it. I think Got That Boom is a much better song. I think Holiday still is by far their best song. And Privacy is just, is just a no for me just because um, the chorus. I, 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 if I remember correctly, I didn't add it to my playlist, but I, I think it has an empty chorus and I just wasn't jiving with it. But I know they're capable of a lot. Um, eventually, they will have their first true um, mini album with multiple songs. And uh, I'll really, really be excited to listen to that when um, they really, really bloom and you see what their true identity is. When these groups first debut, I think you're just trying to feel out either different spaces or different ideas and find what their identity is, find where they fit in the, at, in the kind of um, arena of K-pop. Uh, so I, I like that they're trying different sounds, different styles. Um, so eventually they will find what that that identity is and they'll be they'll be rolling clearly They're already very popular. They get crazy hits on most of their videos So uh, you guys are doing a very very good job Let me know did they ever announce what the fandom name is because I know that privacy was like a possible name for the fandom, but then uh, it was also just the name of the of the uh, the B-side on this single album. So let me know if they ever actually announce what that fandom name is. Again, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Subscribe if you are new here. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.